Rude is the only way to describe what happened to an American Fork family. Yeah, their prized pumpkin that came from their own garden is now missing. New specialist Alex Cabrera is tracking this gourd heist and says the homeowners are pretty proud of their jack-o'-lantern. This area is our garden. We all know that one person who loves growing their own food. Squash, cucumbers, onions. And if you don't, meet you know, Dustin Batty. We've actually got some potatoes out there. She and her husband love planting and taking care of crops in their garden. It's a, it's a big working process. And lately have done so well, even put a box outside their fence to give extra vegetables to their American Fork neighbors. And I even uh, zip tie like some bags to it so that they can grab bags. But what really got them excited this year was their pumpkin harvest, especially one big pumpkin, the largest one they ever grew at nearly 60 pounds. Everybody sees it and everybody's like going, I like your pumpkin. That is a huge pumpkin. And it's like, yeah, we're getting excited, you know, <laughs> but it disappeared. <laughs> That's right. Gone. I think it was about either about right here. That pumpkin was growing on the opposite side of their fence. The vine went through it, but sometime in the middle of the night, someone snapped that vine, took off, and well, that's how the big missing pumpkin mystery began. Batty had to tell her husband. He's like, you gotta be kidding me! But that's not how this mystery ended. No way. You see, Batty wanted to let the thief know stealing a pumpkin isn't very nice, so using plastic cups wrote a message in the very same fence. You are scum who stole our pumpkin. <laughs> the sign her husband wrote wasn't so friendly. This part's my husband, burn in <laughs> and you POS. <laughs> if nothing else, Batty and her husband wanted the thief to know that they don't appreciate their pumpkin being stolen. And since they don't know who did it, they figured the person would at least go by their home again. They're going to get the message. <laughs> That message just might be getting more attention than the pumpkin itself, but it's a message Batty hopes really grows. I hope they feel that they did wrong and hopefully they don't do it again. In American Fork. You know, respect other people's property. Alex Cabrero, KSO 5 News.